Hey, what's up everybody? So we're here with the Creality CR10 Smart and we're going to talk about some issues and solutions to hotbed wobbling and just regular upkeep of the Creality CR10 Smart. So if you're getting wobbling with your hotbed, there are three wheels here. There's one right there, there's one in the middle, and there's one there as well. And all of these are adjustable with the tool set that you've been given, particularly the larger one, the larger side of this wrench. And another thing to note is that there are three wheels here as well. But the difference from the left and the right side of these wheels are that only the middle one can be adjusted on this side. However, However, on the right side, all three can be adjusted. So what you want to do is you just want to stick your screw in there and begin to rotate until your bed stops wobbling, namely towards the middle. And that also, you can rotate the wheels and it will move the bed, but also slightly rotate in place. But see how it also rotates in place. But also if I go slow enough, it moves the bed. So you want to make sure you got that going on with both sides. And it's only the middle one you can adjust. The other two are not adjustable. So that's how you would adjust the wheels on your bed. And that's something I do fairly often. I do that with every other print or so, adjusting those wheels down at the bottom. Now another thing I like to do is I like to take off the glass bed and I like to check all of these screws to make sure that they're nice and tight and you can do that by the allen wrenches that are supplied here cool note by the way there is a magnet on the back of this that keeps the drawer closed I thought that was really cool to tighten these screws you need to use the third one in from the biggest, this one here. And then you would just go in and just make sure all of them are tight. All right, that's nice and tight. One thing to keep around that's very handy is a microfiber cloth. Anytime you handle your 3d printers print surface or the hotbed you want to make sure you give it a nice wipe down with a microfiber cloth to take away any of the oils any dirt any dust that might have gathered and you want to do the same with your glass bed make sure you also get the bottom and you want to do this very carefully as this is glass then go ahead and grab your glass bed bring it over to the edge here Push it in as much as you can. Make sure it gets past this area. Make sure it also lines up here as well as here. And now you can lock it into place. And then after you lock it, just make sure that all the corners are lining up. This one needs a little bit more push in. Oh, looks like it went above the two clips here. So you want to be careful. There's two clips here. All right. So I'm just going to bring in my fingers and push them into the clips. I don't know if you can see the clips here and here. I'm going to push them in, make sure that the sides are all lined up, and then lock it into place. And here are those clips that I'm talking about. As long as it's hooked over the glass bed, it's nice and secure. Another thing I like to check for is the tightness of these belts, and they're actually pretty good. But to tighten them, you'd spin to the right, righty tighty, lefty loosey. And the same with this one, you can just spin it to the right and it'll tighten this rubber belt. Now one thing that I noticed as I started printing more and more with the Creality CR10 Smart is these wheels here. After a lot of running, you'll notice that these wheels build up this kind of shaved rubber. And I think what's happening here is because this thing is going back and forth so many times, it's building up this 
dirt from the rubber rubbing up against the metal here and it could also just be dust so i like to grab my microfiber cloth and push down ever so slightly and roll the wheel so the microfiber cloth picks up all the dust on that wheel as this can have an effect on your 3d prints i clean it up nicely and i like to just check all the other wheels if they have that sort of thing going on and it looks like they don't and when i'm done with that i like to go in and just do an automatic bed leveling and make sure that the bed has been leveled after all the changes and tightening that I have done to the bed. It's going in for the automatic bed leveling. Then it's just going to go in and touch by touch, touch once, touch twice on the bed. Until it finishes the entire point grid that it's got going on over here. All right. Once the automatic bed leveling finishes up, you should be ready to go. And just an update on the Etsy shop. I'm happy to say we got our second Dark Throne print shipped out to the customer. Those are two organic sales, completely organic. And it feels really good to just know that people out there see your product and want to buy it from you. So very thankful for that. Thank you for the two Etsy organic buyers. That was awesome. Really appreciate it. And an update I want to give on the YouTube channel. I'm actually going to do my very first 3D printed helmet. It's the Green Goblin helmet. I'm going to be 3D printing it here on the Creality CR10 Smart. And we're going to give it the whole rundown. We're going to prime it, sand it, paint it, give it a clear coat, and the whole shebang. So stick around, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you know when that video is posted. That Green Goblin 3D printing series is going to be coming up really soon, guys, so keep an eye out for that. If you guys do other maintenance on the Creality that I didn't cover in this video on a fairly regular basis, please comment down below and let me know what it is. Would love to see what you guys do as well. It would mean the world to me if you guys liked the video, especially if you... And remember, guys, to like the video. It's greatly appreciated. It keeps me motivated to see those likes and see that people actually enjoy the content that I'm putting out. Until next time, guys. Peace, love, and joy.